So August 13th, Tommy Fury and Jake Paul agreed to fight each other. And this morning, another news site has came out and said Tommy Fury has backed out of the fight again against Jake Paul. So what is going to happen now with Jake Paul? Well, he's going to have to find somebody again to replace Tommy Fury with because he did the same thing with Tyron Woodley and uh, he did a rematch with everything. Uh, so there's a couple names on the board that he probably could fight. So now, uh, who does he fight? Well, uh, how about the TikTok superstar, uh, Andrew Tate, a billionaire. He literally went out and said two months ago that he would fight Jake Paul any day of the week, any time, send him a contract. He, he would do anything to fight again. And he challenged Jake Paul to a boxing match, and he's there, and he could be a perfect replacement for uh, Tommy Fury. Next would be Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva has... Uh, it's probably like 50 years old and Jake Paul would probably get hated for picking him again or pit not again, but like picking him because he's another retired UFC fighter who never boxed before. But this dude is, uh, has challenged Jake Paul as well. Um, they could possibly match up against each other eventually, but yeah, next one, probably Anderson Silva. Finally, who it could be is probably Conor McGregor out of all people. So that's probably the three names. Conor McGregor is a pay-per-view superstar. He's one of the best uh, fighters probably in our history. He said he would fight anybody. And uh, I don't think he wants to get back in into boxing. But hopefully uh, if he wants to, Jake Paul will give him a contract. Uh, so he's supposed to be fighting August 6th. So if Conor wants to take that, he has no upcoming fights. He has been training a little boxing with his hands a bit. Uh, would he be ready by August 6th? Probably not. Uh, so that's probably three names I would look out for since Tommy Fury will not fight Jake Paul. Who do you want Jake Paul to fight?